have been fighting the inside of my body for the past seven years. I've lost faith in the, all the specialists and the doctors that... So you struggled with a prolapse uterus for seven years? I did. And, and how is it now? It went when um, the power of Jesus touched me last year. So you were healed last year? I was. Someone say hallelujah. But the rest of me has... So now you want prayer for something else? A whole new set of insights. The only part of this body in here, so the doctors tell me, is pumping like a ball, is my heart. At the moment, my gallbladder is in trouble. My. Um, and you also had a hernia, and the Lord took all the pain from the hernia. Took all the pain, the hernia is still sitting, it's still big in there, but there's no pain with that. That went last year. Because you had a lot of pain from that, is that right? I did. And I've been having hammer headaches. So you're ready for your organs to be healed? Oh. Amen. For seven years, I'd been suffering with a lot of body ailments from my hernia and um, as a result of it I couldn't go do anything for seven years I couldn't go to the toilet um, couldn't burp I couldn't fart I couldn't run I couldn't sleep like a normal person everything was just bound up and the more I went to the hospital and the doctors they kept wanting to prod and poke, and I was over it because I knew there had to be something else out there. They told me that I would have to put up with it for the rest of my days, and that just wasn't an option for me. I felt like I was, I would have been better off um, out of this world. The pain was incredible. They filled me up with morphine and all the top drugs, and all that did to me was made me sleep. It didn't take care of my problem. When the doctors said to me, could I let them put me in a machine so they could check my gallbladder? I had no idea what my gallbladder was. I didn't know it was playing up. They said my liver was packing up. I didn't know anything about my liver. All I knew was they were giving me pill after pill after pill because I had hammer headaches right down my front of my head, back of my head, down the sides, um, to eat or sleep. I had to take a pill that relaxed your muscles and you felt like you were drunk and falling all over. And I don't like feeling out of control with my body. So when I heard that um, you were coming to town... So just, just, um, just to clarify, so you had liver problems? I did. What was wrong with the liver? Do you, do you, do you know? I didn't go to the, uh, um, to the checkup. I refused to go back to the doctor. Oh, okay. But they said you had liver problems? Liver, gallbladder, um, intestinal. They and said you obviously had bowel problems. Uh, I've had bowel problems, um, terrible bowel problems. Not to not be able to go to the toilet and so how how often would you do a uh, bowel motion? Fifteen days apart, once every two weeks if I was lucky. Um, maybe once, three weeks might be more. When it was at, it, at its worst, I was lucky if I could get a marble out within three weeks. Wow! So they gave you laxatives to take. Yep. And. And you, you couldn't eat normally? No, couldn't eat normally. So you all blocked up, and so there was a lot of pain? Heaps of pain. I was like a walking rot. I felt like I was completely rotten inside. Mm. And um, So you got prayer, so you went down, did you? What did I you did. feel? Why did you go down? Well, I think Jesus knocked me down. <laughs> I... I I just, I felt warm. Um, you felt a warmth. a warmth. Where was the warmth? Just all around, all around the area that was tight. Um, yeah. So you're ready for your organs to be healed? Oh. Amen. And then you got up, what happened? Then I got up and I thought, 
gee, this is great. I, I've, I've done it. I know I've done it. And I went back and I sat down and I thought, OK, we'll see what happens. I believe it's going to go. So I didn't think much more about it. And then when I went home, I thought, oh, I'd better take my painkillers because I was expecting a hammer headache. And I thought, well, I'll just listen to the Bible music and do some reading and, and, and do some prayer because I know it just doesn't work that way for me. You know, I, So you're about to take painkillers and what happened? Didn't need it. You didn't need it? I didn't need it. I am, Praise God. Praise God. I did not need a painkiller. I didn't need to put my pillows in a way that, like you do for babies. So I've mm. never slept with the pillow down. I've always had to sleep with my pillows on an angle so I'm in the fetal because that's right. the only comfortable place for my, the organs to yeah. rest. Wow. Well, I didn't need it that night and I haven't needed it since. Praise God. Now, what about your bowel motions? Oh, my God. God, that's the beauty of it. I get up now, first thing in the morning, um, and I'm off to the toilet like a normal person. So you, you got home, and when did your bowels start working? That morning. Wow. That morning, with no headache, no strain, no nothing. I felt like I'd lost a quarter of my stomach. <laughs> i got to say, I, that was before the bowel motion. Mm. In the morning when I looked at myself, I normally I look at my stomach because it's, if it's right out, I know I'm in for a rough day. If it's kind of hanging to the side, and it's an ugly sight for me, but I've learnt to love it. Um, but I didn't need it. I just felt like everything had just gone. The ribs were loose, um, no back pain, no neck pain, no stomach pain. No ear pain, no nothing. So what was it like, sorry for asking, but what was it like uh, going to the toilet after all these years of not, of being constipated? So it must have been quite an experience. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> I know nobody else, my, you know, but the things we take for granted, the things I took for granted, like to be able to, have a bowel motion. I just thought, you know, I'll always do that for my days. But no, these seven years have taught me don't take things for granted. And I could, you can't do it on your own. If I had realised what I know now, I would have screamed out a long time ago and come to the Lord. I, I didn't realise the power of mm -hmm. love, of mm -hmm. Jesus' love. And I, and I honestly didn't. I... You know, I think there are a lot of people out there who don't know that there's healing in Jesus' name and that they suffer operations, medications, you know, constipation, whatever the problem is, and they don't know that just put your faith in Jesus. I hear. There, there's healing in his name. So what else happened to you? Well, I had my first birth and it was okay. lovely. <laughs> it stunk, but it was lovely. But the best is, I had my first five farts. <laughs> I've not had them for seven years. So I, you couldn't pass wind for seven no, years? No, I couldn't pass wind. And now I'm happy to walk around passing wind. <laughs> I really am. So excuse me if I fart, but oh my God, it, it's like... Mu I, the music of the angels coming out. <laughs> That's how I can describe it. I, so do you have any pain now? Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing. There's no... I'm like a new woman. <laughs>